So okay. Guilty Gear Strive once again got another uh, character trailer, and this is this is definitely the character that me and Kenny are probably most fascinated with. I'm usually pretty down for straightforward characters in fighting games, like characters that are relatively simple by all means. Um, and that character was kind of like Leo in Exard. And mm -hmm. Exard Leo, you kind of like do this thing and it works and it works pretty well. Um, and you don't have to go too crazy with him to have him be effective. Um, from what people are describing, and Simmons, you already watched this, Geo already kind of has like a limited move set. Yeah. And she's kind of like a very straightforward character. I think by comparison, like Leo is an, a vastly complicated character. Damn. vastly complicated silverback gorilla in comparison to what what giovanna might end up being so yeah me and kenny are probably the most fascinated with mm -hmm. what the hell this character is going to do um and let's hope the devs really show that shit off here Ooh. giovanna is an infighter who takes pride in her high power output high power get up. close to the opponent and unleash a barrage of attacks before they can blink Wow. Sepultra. Sepultra. Giovanna attacks hey, that's a good band. short distance forward. It can be cancelled into from normal moves, making for a combo due Ooh. to its fast startup. This attack has long range and can be difficult say, to punish thing whiff on, at the on far crouch? Attack, that would suck. Making it an Oof. effective poke. Damn. Trovan. Giovanna lunges forward with incredible speed as she attacks. This move has little recovery. This is the block. thing that everyone's using at the, the end of combos to uh, go into like animation. wall splats and stuff like Making that. It a great surprise Wait, it beats projectiles? That's cute. The opponent. Ooh. Sol Nascente. Hey. Giovanna Show attacks you. as she leaps directly up. Anti -air. Although this attack isn't invincible, it works well as an anti-air due to Giovanna's low stance at the beginning of the attack. Wait, it's not invincible? Like How it. weird so is that? Energy. Giovanna leaves forward, performing an overhead attack. This attack Mix can invade the opponent's low hitting attacks and knocks them down on hit. Knocks when them down on hit. That's range, not good. Giovanna can leap to the other side of the opponent, mixing up the direction needed. That's to what block. scrubs will do. Maybe it can it be RC. Startup, but leaves continue Giovanna for a combo. Advantage even when blocked. So use it when you can. Ventania. Giovanna Super. lunges forward as she makes multiple powerful attacks with Damn. invincibility on startup. Due to its fast oh, it's startup, plus, this though. move works oh, well shit. in combos, okay. or as a way to interrupt the opponent's offense. Nice. It gains extra hits when used at close range, increasing the damage. I like. Tempestaggi. Ooh. Giovanna attacks as she descends rapidly from mid -air. Oh, this thing looks really cool when it Due hits. This fast it startup, was in the previous video. It can be used in air combos. The incredibly fast movement also makes it a good way to take the opponent by surprise. Stance like Ooh. that. Stance reminds me. Try using her standing kick and standing heavy slash attacks mm, after a dash as um, pumps and you know ways who? to Vice. approach the opponent. Travon leaves yeah. Giovanna at gotcha. advantage even when blocked, so don't hesitate to use it. You can mix up the opponent hmm. once you're in with a throw, her low hitting crouching slash attack, she's like and or her King. overhead sol buenchi. Yeah, she's dressed the opponents like who try to avoid the grounded neutral game by jumping she absolutely has the smallest sandwich. move list in the whole game. Thank you for watching. Wow. Wow, that's, that's, good. that's literally it. Damn, the learn. video was short. Jeez. Um, Try using her standing kick I mean, she'll probably be easy to learn. Attacks after a dash well, I mean, yeah. To <laughs> Compared I think. to Zato. Have you seen Zato? Like, you pull out his stand, and then you move his stand so and him. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's been, but he's been doing that since Guilty Gear fucking X. Yeah, that's just Even before that. Or her overhead soul point uh she i mean opponents who try I, I, it's really gonna come down to like maybe they're not going over everything she can do because these videos specifically just go over special moves yeah right they actually they actually didn't even say several things that that leo could do and they don't really talk about her her meter sort of thing in here which i yeah. guess you know it's a passive thing that just does more damage over time fighter who takes pride in um, high power output yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of shockingly, it's kind of shockingly minimal. Yeah. Um, maybe this is the example of a character that they're trying to go for that is to appeal towards the new audience that would be joining into Guilty Gear Strive. Like, yeah. maybe. I mean, it's like Scarlet and MK11. Like, Scarlet's got like a handful of combos, maybe like five or six at the most. Well, the, wolf, the wolf that's around her complements her posture. You notice that? Like, it, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. I, I think her posture is weird, honestly. Well, yeah, yeah like I said, it's I, vice. That's why they have the, the, the Thank wolf. Thank you. I think the wolf is, is like the whole, her whole stance and the posture of the character is designed around the wolf. Yeah, but you know what's kind of weird to me is how it feels 
super underutilized. Like, oh, she's got this cool wolf ghost around her. What does it do? It flies Ooh. around. It's, it's like there. It's like it acts there. like a scarf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, I guess. I don't know. Like that to me, that's the only thing that's kind of like bothering me about like. I some guess, people in the chat were saying that she does have dash cancels of some kind that they're not going over in here. Mm. Um, yeah. And that was kind of the stuff that we were figuring out with Nago Ryuki, where they really weren't going over some of his core mechanics in the trailers because these these beginner guides are just like, hey, here's their special moves, and here you go. Yeah, the video almost feels like the character is being uh, under-demonstrated in many ways, and the only time we've actually seen her demonstrated in a way where it's like, whoa, no, she actually does have some meat and bones to her, is that one video that some dude made that got a copy of the game somehow. Wow. And made a combo video. It made like five or six really good combos. And it was fuck? like, oh shit. No, she's actually, Thank damn. You. This does damage. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah. If she has other things that are more nuanced in like her game plan between dash canceling, hmm. if somehow her meter modification actually changes which combos you go for, right? If you attempt, if you have to, if you have to make these choices constantly, because if she only has like a few special moves, it feels like her game plan might be kind of simple. Um, and I just hope that's not the case. I, I hope she has seen. actually a lot of variety in her mobility Jeremy? and her game plan and, your, and getting in and everything like that. Because every other character seems to be fucking absolutely nutty so far. It really Show us like the combo it. bit. I showed you it before Ooh. and it's been, I, I believe it's being taken down by Arc System Works, so I don't want to show oh, yeah. it again. It, it's, a little, it's a little yeah, frustrating, never touched her. I feel right now because it's like, now I'm just like, I just, I kind of want the game in my hands. Like I want the beta because it feels like so, like there's so much they're leaving out of these these quick videos yeah he's yeah right. like, we have to discover some more stuff on it i feel like it, uh, yeah. well, the thing too if they're oh, making these hard. videos and they're trying to appeal to people like hey try this into a roman cancel into a this cancel and into this and then you're like whoa whoa right yeah, yeah they really simple, don't go over like you don't what's want good it. it with game mechanics they're just like here is just their special moves right have fun yeah. you know like if they're and, showing a new fighting game and it starts looking like trigonometry you're just like whoa and yeah. she honestly that's what that's what i that's what i was kind of talking about she yeah. could be a character where the the new systems present in strife might complement her the more than any other character where it's just like damn like you start throwing in some rcs in here and some time mm -hmm. some some slowdown shit so, and she becomes fucking insane I, I mean, I'm just looking at her now, I can already tell, and we already said this before, Axel is going to eat her alive. She has no projectiles. She, her, her base damage is when she gets in, and uh, how she gets in, what, like you said, one of that move that she does that goes to projectiles. The dash, the yeah, cannon the, spark, can of sprite. Can of sprite, yeah, might be the best thing she can to get inside, and that's what I'm worried about the characters. Characters that, like her, that are great inside, but when they get pushed back, like you can't do anything. Else. Everyone kind of has a. Uh, there's some people in chat that echo that point that Axel looks like he's going to eat everyone alive right now. <laughs> Axel is looking very fucking good in this game. He's, he's looking very jadish right now. Oh. Uh, pick, pick another character, Jade. Stop. You want to you want to win in Guilty Gear, Axel. Yeah. You want to win in Jade. Mortal Kombat, Jade. Yeah. Here, here, here's something though that like I I kind of want to bring up is. Because a lot of people, you know, people default, I guess for beginners, it's for beginners, it's for beginners. And I kind of feel like, okay, I, yeah, well, yes, it's for beginners. But they're really just telling you, here's what their moves are. Like, here's the button input, input for a special move. When you're showing something off to a beginner, I think you want to show at least like a bread and butter. Or you want to have something like, here's something cool, you know, you can practice doing. Like, this is something really cool. Like, you want to show why this hey, combo. Something. Yeah, you want to show a combo because you want to show why is this character cool? Why do I want to learn this character, or why you want to stick with this character? Yeah, uh, and, I, and I think that's really important for for newcomers and beginners. Is you want to like if you there's a character you like the look, you of want something play. to strive for. Exactly. Hey. 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 I was terrible.